I just wanted to give you a little update on the HD Home Run Tuner that supports 4K over-the-air broadcast. So, right now, this is the very beginning of the ATS-3 rollout. So, I will go ahead and explain a little bit more in detail. Silicon Dust offered their first ATS-3 tuner on the Kickstarter about a year or so ago. So, I jumped on it and purchased one of it. So... This is some of the stuff I uh, supported on Kickstarter. So let me go ahead and continue with this. You can see right here, this is the ATS-3 tuner that uh, they have created. And I just received mine back in the summer when they started shipping it. But uh, they just started broadcasting the ATS-3 in my area. Uh, couple of weeks ago. So this is running it right here, but I'll go into more in depth in that in just a minute. Okay, here's the functions that it provides. It's got four built-in tuners. It's got free local TV via the antenna. That's either on the roof, attic, or rabbit ears. Uh, TV over existing home network. Watch on tablets and phones. DLNA compatible. And no DVR, no built-in storage. So that's what it offers. For whatever reason, the United States is always lagging behind other countries when it comes to rolling out new technology. This uh, ATSC-3 has been out for quite a long time. And matter of fact, the South Koreans actually used it to broadcast 4K TV for the 2018 Winter Olympics. So... They're way ahead of the ball game. Now the eight, the uh, silicon dust tuners, they uh, are the one that's first one that's that I'm aware of that has the ability to broadcast 4K in the United States or worldwide. Okay, here it is in action. Now this one is running the HD Home Run app on my Windows 10 computer. We've got video and audio. Now over here is the app running under MB, the live TV app. And we've got video, but we do not have any audio. But if you look over here, uh, both of them, Tuner Zero is ATS3 broadcast, which can broadcast up to 4K, but right now they're just broadcasting uh, 1080i or 720p, depending on the station. So, uh, we're not there yet. We have the hardware. HD Home Run has provided the hardware, but now it has to uh, be broadcast uh, in uh, 1080p, or excuse me, 4K. Okay, I recorded a little bit of this Premier Soccer League. So now I'm going to play it on uh, VLC so I can show you what it's, uh, what the codec is. Okay, it is a MPEG-H Part 2, HEVC, H265. So what it's doing is broadcasting an H265, which is the newest video codec, and that's why your bit rate is uh, low like this. If it was in H264, the predecessor, then it would be running about 12, anywhere from 12 to 19. Each station is allocated 19.2. 2 megabits per second of data that they can transmit and a lot of these stations have added a lot of sub channels so your primary channel primary will be less than 10 megabits so the lower this number on the h264 uh it would uh, uh lower the picture quality by uh, by changing to h uh, h265 with a different compression uh, algorithm you get a better picture quality for a very low bit rate. So anyway, that's what you got right here. It's H2, uh, H265. It's Brody broadcast again, 1920 by 1080. So uh, that's actually 1080i interlace. So it is not 4K. So it may be a while before uh, these stations start broadcasting in 4K. And as I told you, uh, South Korea broadcast their uh, uh, Olympics two years ago in 4K. So... We're really lagging behind, so that's what I want to show you there.